Smack him a gob, everybody. Hey, Bjorn Rune Nilsson asked me to rank Queen's Sheer Heart Attack album. I love this album. Actually, there's no song I dislike on this album, but yeah, of course, I like more, uh, songs more than others. And uh, a little history. I didn't own this album until way later when uh, Hollywood Record was releasing all the Queen CDs. I believe it was in the early 90s. And I went crazy. I bought all that 70s stuff. Anyway. I ended up loving Sheer Heart Attack. I love this album. I love Queen. A 70s Queen, man, do I love that. In the last few albums, Innuendo, well, Innuendo, Miracle was kind of weak, but it had its moments. But 70s Queen is the shit. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Pat Pose, who has a channel on here. Check it out, Pat Pose. He's a huge Queen fan. And also my friend Yoadamo. I mean, your Almo, that um, if either of you are watching, I would love to see your rankings in the comments below, as well as everybody else watching that's Queen fans and that loves Sheer Art Attack or is aware of Sheer Art Attack, give us your uh, 13, ranking 13. All right, here I go. At number 13, bring back Leroy Brown. Now, it sounds goofy, man. It sounds like one of those 20s or 30s songs, you know, like putting on the Ritz type stuff, the Charleston. Very, you know, of the time, but man, it shows the diversity of those bands. I picture like a bunch of white people dancing around like they're coked out of their head. You ever seen that old footage from the 20s or 30s, people dancing around to music like this? They're hopped up on something. I think back then you drank Coca-Cola, you still got you know, coked out because back then Coca-Cola was really cocaine was the original ingredient. All right. Bring back Leroy Brown as number 13 at number 12. She makes me. I love it, but I like all the other songs more. But it's a beautiful little ballad tune. Slow, chill, gorgeous. All right. At number 12. I mean, at number 11, right? In the Laps of the Gods. Not the revisited one, actually. I'm going with the, the one that comes out first on the album. It's an awesome song, but I like the revisited one more. So that one is up at number 10, right? I don't know. I got these numbers messed up. Let's just go. I'm not going to name them, right? The numbers. All right. So, yeah, the revised one is above In the Lap of the Gods. Then... Gorgeous song, Dear Friends. I love that song. Beautiful ballad, piano, and that, that voice, man. My God. All right, then, Lily of the Valley. Talking about that voice. What a gorgeous song. I love Lily of the Valley. Another great tune on here. And then, believe it or not, most people will put this one lower. Miss Fire. I love Miss Fire. It's a short little tune, but... It's fun, man. Don't you miss fire. Build me up. I love it. Um, and then what opens the album? Brighton Rock. It rips. It's heavy. It's awesome. And after that, another heavy one. Now I'm here. Hell yeah. That song rules. And I love the version that's on Live Killer. Which... By the way, I owned Live Killer way before She Heart Attack, so I knew Brighton Rock and and uh, Killer well Killer Queen I knew from the radio, but Brighton Rock and Now I'm Here and the few others that made the album. All right, then we go to the next one, which a very special song to me, Killer Queen. I love that song. I even bought it as a 45 when it first came out. I love it. I believe Queen wasn't happy about that being the single. But it was big. I remember loving it as a kid and going to the record store and buying the 45. Which, if memory serves me correct, the album, the, the 45 sleeve, had a picture of Queen 2 on it. But it said, you know, Killer Queen. 
If anybody knows that trivia, leave it in the comments below. Am I remember this right? All right, Killer Queen, I love it. At number three, now, here's the thing. These next two songs belong together. Terminate Funster and Flick of the Wrist. I'll put Terminate Funster under Flick of the Wrist, but they're both like, you know, Heartbreaker, Live and Love and Made, We Will Rock You, We Are the Champions. You know, they, they belong together, you know? So, yeah, uh, at number three, Terminate Funster, and at number two, Flick of the Wrist. At number one, Stone Cold Crazy. Man, Proto Thrash, Killer Stuff. I was just eating peanuts. Now there's peanuts flying out of my mouth. Um, Stone Cold Crazy, man. Numero uno. So there you go. Bjorn Nelson. Thank you so much, my friend. You always donating for stuff I know and I enjoy doing. You're awesome, man. And so is everybody out there that's watching right now. You're all awesome as well. And if you want to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Ring the little notification bell and like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob.